What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. So a few days ago, Netflix aired their first ever live roast as a part of their Netflix is a joke fest. The event was hosted by Kevin Hart and Tom Brady was a guest of honor for the night. It was pretty much a live event, which meant that there were no cuts whatsoever. It was attended by many celebrities, but the one I want to talk about is Kim Kardashian because she got the most negative reaction from the audience, which further reignited the conversation about how a lot of people just can't stand the Kardashians anymore? I mean, at first people really liked them. They liked their products and their TV shows, but I will say, as the years have gone by, people have gotten tired of the constant media stunts, pointless businesses, and just the fact that they have become so out of touch with what's happening in the world. So yeah, Kim attended the Netflix live roast of Tom Brady, and I guess it's safe to say that any chance people get to roast a they will take it and make the most out it. I mean, the event wasn't even about her, and yet she found herself being the center of a few jokes. The one that everyone is talking about comes from Tom Brady himself saying that Kim was nervous to be there last night, not because of having to get up on stage, but because her kids would be under the care of Kanye. Kim obviously did not look amused by the joke because she is probably tired of Kanye's jokes at this point, but her friend and publicist Tracy loved it. I mean, we all know Tracy is pretty much behind any rumors we hear in the blogs when it comes to the Kardashians. Like, she loves the drama and she has worked closely with Kris Jenner to build a PR machine like no other. So when it was Kim's turn to get up on stage and roast Tom Brady, Kevin Hart called her up. And before she could even get there, the crowd booed her. She literally couldn't even get a line or two in. It was really bad. The booing only stopped when someone on stage told the audience that was enough and then she was able to go on and do her set, but you could tell she was not expecting that. So there's been a whole conversation about it online with some people saying that it's probably because of what she did to Taylor Swift. Everybody knows that song Thank You Amy by Taylor Swift was about how Kim bullied Taylor Swift online while she was still married to Kanye. Kim was a guest on Jimmy Kimmel after that song came out and some people thought maybe Kim would have Jimmy ask her about the song and she would have some perfectly planned PR answer to follow, but the song was never mentioned in the interview. It was also revealed that a source close to Kim told people that Kim is over it and thinks Taylor should move on and doesn't get why Taylor keeps harping on it. I, on the other hand, think that the reason people were booing her is because people are just tired of the Kardashians. They aren't relatable at all anymore, and even when trying to be, it looks too forced sometimes. Now, not everyone is tired of the Kardashians. She has actually been getting some positive comments on her Instagram, like this person who said, I really want to give you a hug. You didn't deserve that at the roast. Another person said, Kim, I think you should sue those losers for their tasteless jokes. You've grown and come way too far for them to say idiotic things like that. I love you. And someone on TikTok also said, I feel bad. She really was a good sport. I don't think she deserved that much booing, and she definitely was a good sport about it. I feel like she is used to this at this point, like she's always taking one for the team when it comes to her family, but I want to know your thoughts on this whole situation, so do let me know your thoughts on this whole situation in the comments down below. Hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Catch you in the next one.